Hey, three oh. minutes left in the show. We've got an update on a story that we did earlier from Kendra Andrews. Of ESPN, I'm going to read her tweet verbatim. Bob Myers said that Draymond Green apologized to the Warriors this morning, but he did not practice with the team. Myers said Green's punishment will be dealt with internally. So it doesn't look like it's suspension, Nick. Yeah, he What's also just said via Mark Medina he doesn't anticipate Draymond's going to miss any games as part of his punishment. Just said that a moment ago. I Listen, they are, I would say this. If they weren't going to suspend him, they need to run a tighter ship over there. Great take. If you're not going to suspend him, then why the hell did, did this become public? I thought the reason it got out was because they knew it was going to be out because they were suspending him. If the plan was never to suspend him, then you got you to gotta figure out who immediately ran to text Shams about it. Because, all right, now I'm, I'm dealing with this in real time, so my mind's sure. kind of racing a bit. Okay, so now it's really interesting. Because that means a player wanted this information out there. Someone, I shouldn't say player, someone wanted Draymond embarrassed. Agreed? Could have been an agent. An agent wanted Draymond embarrassed? Like Possibly. The, so, or, or, or not even wanting Draymond embarrassed, just giving the information to Sean. Yeah, the point is, is that someone, this got outside of the Warriors family when it didn't have to. So either somebody was just trying to curry favor with Shams, which I guess is possible, or somebody wanted Draymond a tad embarrassed. Neither's great. He, he, Bob Myers also said, listen, Draymond lives on that line, goes over the line, but he always comes back. I think it's, you know, the most they can find him now is 50000 according to the CBA, if they're not going to submit him a game. So it'll be a slap on the wrist. It won't be any substantial. The substantial part is the embarrassment of this becoming public. It's not a big deal. Like, like we said, I mean, I, I just, look, I, I think suspend him, send him away from the team for three or four days. That's what it should be. That's it. I don't think he needs to miss a game. No. Steve Kerr is probably a part of, obviously a part of the decision making. And he's like, look, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Draymond apologized. I hope, I assume he apologized to Jordan Poole too. Because he needs to not only apologize to the team. Now maybe it's significant that Bob Myers didn't say that if, if he didn't. We haven't seen the reports. That he apologized personally to Jordan Poole too. Mm. But I, I don't think it's I don't think it's going to be. A I know you laughed at the Jordan thing, but Steve Kerr is on the record saying that him and Jordan, after he got punched by Jordan, it brought them closer together. Yes, but that's wild. If you and I are riding next to each other on a plane okay. and it starts to go down yep. and we bond because of it and then it pulls out of it, we don't thank the pilot. We're not like, oh, I'm glad that happened. It's a happy accident of something that shouldn't happen. Jordan, uh, the team, we are, what we're not going to do is act like this is good. What, th well, that's it doesn't have to be good, but it might. It, it doesn't have to be bad. It, it's a it's a bad situation, but you can move on from. Of it, course, I'm not acting like it's a disaster. What I am saying is, again, this is sometimes I'm a very very simple man. Okay. Okay. There's 30 teams in the league. One of them has had a public practice fight. It happens to be involving the one guy who would probably be the number one draft pick of all the players in the league to punch a teammate. And it's when we know there's a little simmering tension between the guys on the Warriors who will or won't get contract extensions. It's something to me. Okay. Something to me. Bob Myers is holding. I know you want it. that because. Oh, Warriors come out and play, but by play we mean fight. <laughs> Team considering some sort of discipline for Draymond after he punched Jordan Poole. Chris Haynes reporting Draymond was a. apologetic, but there was a buildup, Nick, stemming from yeah. teammates noticing a change in Poole's behavior. Throughout camp with the guard on verge of securing a lucrative contract. Eh, something. Meanwhile, Iguodala also tweeted two things. Uh, what we're not going to do is talk crazy about Jordan Poole, the great character kid. Uh, miss me with all the other stuff. Straight from the source. Shout out to Benzino. And uh, in the other tweet, he said, it's family business Ooh. with my brother, Draymond Green, too. Yeah. So, Nick, mm -hmm. lots to unpack here. Mm -hmm. What's your take? All right, anyone that's watched the Warriors last year has probably also at some point wanted to have somebody smack Jordan Poole. So <laughs> it, there's part of me that is, uh, I wants like to be sympathetic. Kid. Listen, maybe it's a little too close to home. He plays and carries himself on the court just like my son did. And which can be at times exhilarating, and at times you're like, you got to be kidding me, man. It just, uh, it's just—it's just like Fellow you got to be. Fox you've been, you've been, one employee. Yeah, I know. Yeah, for the co-host of What's Right with Nick Wright. It's like really, you—you you haven't played in 18 minutes. You came in, you hit one shot, and you are preening around the court. <laughs> Calm down. So, I would like to—I would like to be on Draymond's side, but there's a few red lines in life, okay. and one of them is 
if you're not a boxer or a football player, can't hit the coworkers. And I understand that for some folks, not that I work with any of them, I guess we'll find out, but for some folks there's another rule, which is if Michael Jordan did it, it's cool. (laughs) <laughs> and so I know that Michael Jordan once upon a time punched a guy who I actually there think that is. guy now coaches the Warriors. And so it's like, well, if Jordan did it, it must be a part of team building. But a couple things. One is, no, it's not. The other is, Draymond's not Jordan. Steph's Jordan in this instance. And Draymond has a history of not being able to control his own anger and temper and it costing them. Some would argue it cost them the 2016 finals. I don't believe that, but I know a lot of people do, that they would have won if he didn't get suspended. He almost fought career in the locker room once. It almost broke that relationship up. Some think it's why the final straw between he and Durant. He hit the college kid at Michigan State a few years ago, and now he's hitting teammates. And we can't say it's nothing because the Warriors are going to suspend him or discipline him in some way, shape, or form for this. Luckily, Draymond is not just a basketball player. He's a member of New Media, oh, and go. just like Andre this Iguodala is, rushed like to Twitter to talk about this, let's go to Draymond's Twitter feed New and media. see, has he apologized? Wait. Okay, so that, Pat, oh, oh, that's nice. just I a perfect storm that. of hate for me. <laughs> oh. So that's a Draymond. So that's the most recent Draymond tweet. All right, scroll down. Maybe he's tweeted something since then. Give me, give me. Oh, wait. This is Cam Hayward saying he wants to box Draymond Green a few weeks ago. I'm. I'll do all the talking. I'm not getting in anyone's boxing ring. No, sir. Smart, Unless that person is six Dre. inches shorter than you and 80 pounds lighter than Jordan Poole. In which case, you might get smacked in the face. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, Wild, you shouldn't so hit the So this is co-work. a big deal? Okay. It's of course big deal? it's a big deal. The Warriors are telling us it's a big deal. Okay. okay. They're punishing them. All right. So okay. here, here's why I don't think it's a big deal. One, and I should have referenced it in the initial read, the video that we showed of Jordan Poole shooting around, that was after practice. That was after right. the big fighter during Color practice. me shocked. Draymond Green, not actually the most effective fighter. Okay. Just like you know, the But that has to weigh Doesn't in pack a big if, punch. Look, if I get punched in the face and like, all right, you're going to rebound for me, I get some shots off, it, it wasn't that big of a deal. And also, mm-hmm. we would be remiss not to readdress the Jordan storytelling. <laughs> this the, was not my doing, Nick. This was all This lost. is obvious. It's the it most famous lost. practice punch. In NBA history, and Doesn't Steve Kerr it talked about it and said it brought them closer together. This is an interview from two years ago with Ernie. Take a listen. On every team that I played on, late '80s, early '90s, there were a few practice fights. There was just a lot of competition, and things would get out of hand, and then it just, you know, it wasn't really a huge deal in in the grand scheme of things. But um, for me in that case, Michael was definitely testing me and and I responded and I feel like I kind of passed the test and he trusted me more afterwards. So I, there's so sort of two thing. paths to go down here, bro. So like you I tell said, me Jordan which one you're at. So it's no, a I'm, being, I'm being serious. The one path is if they suspend Draymond, it's Steve Kerr is being hypocritical because he was brought closer to oh, wow. Michael Jordan, and this used to always happen. So there's that path you could go down. Or that the punch was something else, and it deserves some sort of repercussions. I don't know which path it is. I wasn't there, obviously. But I thought it was an interesting tangential experience that Steve Kerr had with the GOAT. I, I think they'll go the path of punishing Draymond. Whether suspension would probably be more than a fine. How do you think so, that's going to sit with him? Bad. I, I think it'll be fine. Look, I was told by someone what they said what happened. Draymond, they're scrimmaging, and Draymond's talking trash, as he always does, consistently talking trash. And Jordan Poole, who is arrogant? Who <laughs> is arrogant? And, but, but I've heard it from people up there. He, he's arrogant the way he carries himself. Well, yeah. And that's fine. I've heard it from my They're eyeballs. both going at it talking trash. Yeah. And Draymond calls him soft. And they square up. And I heard it was a good shot. Now, obviously, it didn't hurt Jordan Bull. Like you said, he's shot. shooting, he's laughing after. Okay. But it, was a, it wasn't just like, you know, you're crazy or you miss right. And him. that's why they have to discipline him because it was a good shot that apparently landed cleanly. And then everybody, you know, kept him apart. I don't think it's a big deal, though, Nick. You, you mentioned Michael Jordan. Isaiah Thomas punched out Bill Lambert. We, Magic Johnson told me himself Bill about Lambert fight. definitely deserved it. I, can we get one I, in the I, last decade? No, but though, it's, it's not a world. big deal if you play team sport. I almost got in fights yeah, with guys in 60s. practice. <laughs> no, <laughs> with guys in practice, and the that night 
we're sitting there having a beer. The yep. same guy I almost had a fight with. It happens. Now, if Jordan, I think Draymond. I want some time with you, babe. Oh, I thought that you was mine, little babe. You make me feel so alive, little babe. And now I know that you ain't mine, little babe. Oh, I've been wasting lots of time, yeah, lady. Yeah, I thought that you was mine, but you changed. Now I cannot spend the time on you, babe. But the way you talk in my game, okay. Yeah, you said it was my heart that you saved it. Now you switch up on me and you got a new thing. Yeah, you've been up on my mind.